So this is six four problem number one. Travel agent offers a group of a group rate of twenty eight hundred dollars per person for a week in London. If that one's different, six four. Which one do you need? That's number one on six four, right? Oh, that's number three. Yep. Ah, here you go. Uh, okay. He went to that one for some odd reason. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll look at this. So the owner of a motel has 60 rooms rent. She finds that if she charges $20 per room per night, all the rooms will be rented. For every $2 that she increases the price of a room, three rooms will stand vacant. Okay, so she goes to $22, and still 60 rooms, there's 57. Okay, so this would be let's just kind of fill out the table logically right so this would be 24 26 28 and 30 right? 26, 28, yeah. all right so 57 54 51 48 and 45 right and if we multiply these you're going down by three that's right. For every increase of two dollars, the rooms go down by three, right? Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, if you multiply those twenty-four times fifty-four is twelve ninety-six. Twenty-six times fifty-one is thirteen twenty-six. Twenty-eight times forty-eight. Is 1,344. Yeah, and then 30 times 45, and then we'll... 1,350. Yeah. All right, so the table continues, right? So what we have to do is fi figure out a pattern, okay? Um, total revenue is the price of the room times the number of rooms rented, right? So that's what total revenue price. is. So that's price times number of rooms, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the price is this. Um, if, let's see. So it's, it's going down by two every time, or going up by two every time, right? So let's... So we need to create something that's going to do this. So if we look at this pattern, this is really 20 plus 2 times x, right? If we look at that. Because if we look at our – if we look at it in terms of a linear, the slope is 2, right? The x is going up by 1, and my outputs are going up by 2, so that's where I get the 2x, right? 2 times x. And then my wire set would be where it starts off at, at zero, right? So that would be the okay. price of the room. Okay. The number of rooms would be this. It would be 60 minus 3 times X. Because if we have no price increase, let's plug zero in here. So that would go to – that would be 20 times 60, which is 120 or 1,200, right? So basically, yes, sir. You, what you have is – here's the equation, and it's basically two linear equations, right? If you think about them independently, yes, sir. and then when you multiply them, what they create is a quadratic, and you're going to find out okay. what, what the – you know, when you plug it into your calculator, and I don't think I got my calculator – uh, uh, I don't have my calculator. Let's see. I need 
that. All right, so if we look at this, we can, uh, what do we say, 20 minus 2x, right? And then… I think it was plus 2 It is 2. You're right. It is. You're exactly correct. All right, and then 60 minus 3x. Minus 3x, and then close parentheses. All right. If you think about a quadratic, it's it's basically a multiplication of two linears. And if you think about factored form, which is what these are in, the 20 plus 2x and the 60 minus 3x is, is in a form called factored form. Um, and you could set the factors equal to zero, and you could see where it crosses the x-axis, right? But we're going to see – I think the question is – Price of room got that, total number of rooms got that, and total revenue. Those are the equations that we come up with, right? So find a – Yes, sir. What is the lowest price that the owner can charge for a room if she wants her revenue to exceed 1296, right? Um, that would just be an output of 1296. You draw a, a line. But what we'll do is we'll just hit graph. All right, so we got 60 rooms, so 0 to 60. So let's see. We want uh, negative 10, and then we're going to go 70 right there, and then we'll step it by 5, be fine. And then I'm just going to hit graph. All right, so – and now if I hit uh, – mm, uh, why is that only going 5, 10, 15, 20? What the heck? Yeah. Okay. So if we go, let me back that in a little bit. What else? Well, we got 60 rooms, so graph. All right, and then zoom zero to make it fit, right? Then we'll just do this a little bit. Make my um, there. I don't want that, but I want. Let's see. Minus 100. And then 1800 graph. All right, now, all right, so I gave a little bit more headroom and everything. So we, um, if we were to go second trace, we could find its maximum because it's opening down. So we just do. There we are. There we are. Enter. And then enter. So five and thirteen fifty. So That's our uh, maximum, right? So if we go look and see what it's asking us to see, use the table to find the value of x that causes total revenue to be zero. Well, that'd just be where it crosses the x-axis back here, right? This point right there. Um, two, three, about five, ten, fifteen, about twenty. Let's see what else they want. Okay, what is the lowest price that the owner can charge for a room if she wants to exceed? That's that. What is the highest price she can charge to obtain this revenue? 
and what is the maximum so G is what we just found yes sir okay Yeah, she's got 30 and 45, which comes out right, 20, 24, 26, yeah. There's the 20 plus 2x and 60 minus 3x. That's all that. And these are all numbers that go in there. All right, we can find the zero right here. Second trace, two, if we go over. Enter, enter, enter. 20 rooms. Um, and she'd have a net revenue of zero. So that's, that's where that comes in. And that's down here. If you look at that. That's this answer here. So all of it's just a quadratic is what you're doing. But these are the two equations okay. that you need. So all right. What else? That's it for me. All right. I've got I'm working on videos for this. Um so they'll be up. Um, probably get them converted uh, to them tonight because there's a lot of word problems and then the other section that's left after this one 6-4 is uh, quadratic regression so all right um, I need help on number 13 on 6.1 okay All right, so let's preview. And what was the number? Number 13. Okay. All right, so let's go here and go back and. Okay, so the hard part about this is writing the equation for it, okay? So it says one end of the ladder is 10 feet from the base of the wall, and the other end reaches a, a window on, in the wall. The ladder is two foot longer than the height of the window. So what you have is this would be X. We don't know what that is, but the ladder is X plus 2. Okay, so um, and then it's just Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So that'd be A and B, and this hypotenuse would be C. So you basically have 10 squared plus X squared equals X plus two squared. Uh, 
so you can write an equation about the height of the window you can basically so that'd be a hundred let me change colors that's a hundred plus x squared equals so that is x plus two and x plus two right if you fool this that's uh, x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. So that'd be. And then we move that over. We're going to minus 10, minus 10, minus x squared. Is it supposed to be 10 or is it supposed to be 100? It is 100, sorry. You're correct. All right, so when I do that, let's see this right there. That's minus x squared. So what's left with is zero on the left-hand side. The quadratic drops, that's 4x minus 96, right? Yeah, a squared plus b squared. Right to the window. x, x plus 2, boom, done. x squared plus, okay. All right, so we get this. Um, so we should do plus 96. So 96 equals 4x. Not by 96 divided by 4. Is 24. X equals 24, so that'd be 24, and this would be 26. Now, so the height, so I find the height of the window. The height of the window is 24. Now, let's just figure out what what they're wanting in terms of write a quadratic equation for the height. I'm thinking maybe they want. Well, it simplifies down, so. Now let's go see what they got. Yeah. Or I wrote it, so yeah, that's all you had to do. Um, yep, 24. So it's basically... They only gave you one known, but they gave you a relationship between the leg and the hypotenuse of a right triangle is what they've done. And then I squared the 10 squared to X and then squared the, the binomial. And then the X squares canceled out, left you with just a linear equation that solved to be 24. So they didn't want us, they want us to write it in order to solve it, but they wouldn't have to give anything but just the answer. So does that help you a little bit more? Yes, thank you. All right. I understand it. All right. There's another uh, quadratic, I think, in about two or three problems later um, that will work very similar to this. Okay. Just keep that in mind. But, uh, okay. Y'all got anything else? Not right now. Okay. Um, okay. All right.